I, I don't I don't party, I don't have a boyfriend, I don't own a cell phone. I'm just truly, you know, dedicated to the sport of boxing. Um, greatness requires sacrifice and I sacrificed a lot to be where I'm at now. So it definitely changed me as a person. Yo soy Erika Cruz, eh, en el box soy Dinamita, soy de la Ciudad de México. My name is Amanda, the real deal Serrano. I am 43, two and one with 30 knockouts. El poder ir a pelear una unificación de títulos para mí significa algo grandioso, algo que soñé desde que yo era niña. Y justamente lo los, bueno, lo Te, lo visualizaba con Amanda Serrano. Erica, she's uh, she has um, less fights, but you know you can never, you know, toughness comes within you. And she, she's a uh, Mexican fighter, and she has all of Mexico behind her, and she's gonna come to try to you know rip my head off. And she wants me to become the first undisputed female champion coming out out of Mexico. Elegí el boxeo porque fue algo que pues que primero creo que traigo en la sangre, me lo inculcó mi padre. Mi madre ya no vive, pero eh, ella me decía, quiero que seas campeona en box. Eh, llegué al gimnasio de box y ese día me bastó para darme cuenta que, que amaba el box y no volvió a faltar y peleé creo que a los 15 días. Boxing was something I never thought I would do. I, would never, I never thought that I would become a fighter, let alone a world champion, let alone a seven division world champion and not going for undisputed. Um, I, I felt fighting wasn't, wasn't for me. I, I saw my sister and her struggles in the game and I was just a number one fan. Um, and then, I don't know, something something came in, into me and I just I just started training, I started fighting, I started wanting to fight. Um, then I turned pro and still turning pro, it wasn't because I wanted to become a champion or I wanted to become the best uh, female fighter or be the best at, at anything. I just wanted to, to fight. El boxeo me ha dado todo lo que tengo prácticamente. Ha sido una herramienta, ha dado, me ha dado un buen trabajo ser representante de la institución de la Guardia Nacional, que eso me ayuda a representar a, a mis compañeros y compañeras, eh, a darle una estabilidad a mi hijo. I always um, wake up in the morning and I thank God for giving me another day and just to allow me to be the best person I can be as well as the best athlete that I can be. I always want to be better than I was yesterday, my last fight. Um, I'm always pushing myself because I'm my biggest critic. I feel like I could have done more, I could have done this. So I think um, I'm never satisfied with my work. I have always want to be better. It all comes down to this. Two minutes undisputed lightweight championship. It has been an epic battle. I didn't realize how big it was until the night of the fight when I was standing in the middle of the ring looking at Katie Taylor when the referee is telling us, you know, the final instructions. And I'm looking at Katie and I'm just smiling at her and I'm just looking at her, dead in her eyes and I say, Katie, look what we did. And just looking around and I guess get goosebumps still because just thinking about that fight, just, you know, seeing the Irish flags, Puerto Rican flags, hearing the crowd. Uh, and I was like, look what two girls did. A mí fue muy emocionante, ¿no? Yo estuve esperando todo el día para verla porque, aunque Amanda pudi en ese momento decía, bueno, puede ser una rival que tengo algún día que enfrentarme, pues el ver a dos mujeres grandiosas en una pelea estelar, traer a la gente súper contenta, que acabaron con casi toda la venta de boletos para poder ver a ellas, las mujeres también podemos, y mira, peleas estelares, aunque sea de poquito en poquito, pero ahí vamos dando pasos firmes. Y ahorita en este momento tan importante que, que voy a tener una pelea con, con una leyenda como les Amanda Serrano, eh, para mí es algo muy emocionante porque estoy a punto de, de darle a México eh, su primera campeona unificada. There's nothing like Mexico versus Puerto Rico. <laughs> the rivalry's been there for since forever, and I'm just super glad that um, an honor to you know share a ring with another champion and a Mexican champion. Sé que me enfrento a una a una rival dura. No puedo decir 
voy a ir y ganar en el primero porque pues no creo que sea muy fácil, ¿no? Y pues me gustaría eso, llevarme la victoria. She's tough. Um, I, hope, I hope she comes like a, like a Mexican fighter and just comes in and, and we give the fans a great war. You know, we have a little phone booth in there and just go, go at it for 10 rounds or less. Champion of the world, Erica Dinamita. Quiero ser campeona absoluta en todos los, de todos los organismos. Everybody wants to become undisputed, and it means a lot more because uh, it shows who's the best in that division. Yo sé que Amanda es fuerte, pero yo también lo soy. I mean, you can't beat me just on your toes and, and moving. It's, it's not gonna happen. If Erica wants to become undisputed champion, if she wants to beat me, then it's going to be a good night. En la noche del 4 de febrero yo estoy preparada para ganar. I think it's going to be a, a easy night for me. <laughs>